From a pocket slingshot to camping utensils and a magnifying glass, plastic bottles are extremely versatile items and you'll be amazed by these top 10 plastic bottle life hacks we'll be revealing in this video. Amazing! If you have bad eyesight, this hack is for you. Simply trace around the curved part of a bottle using something circular like this. You can use the cap of the bottle itself or something larger like a cup. Cut out two of these circles, making sure that each of them has been cut out from adjacent sections of the bottle so that they have the exact same convex lens shape. Once you've got two of these cut out pieces, simply fold them against each other and bond them together with some glue. However, do not glue it around the entirety of the edge. Make sure to leave a small gap. Once the glue has dried, submerge the disc into water and pinch it slowly so the water can replace the air within the disc. Once the disc has filled with water, remove it from the water-filled container and seal up the hole in the side with more glue. You now have a really neat magnifying glass. Remember, you can always make larger discs for better magnification. Do you ever find yourself charging your phone in a wall socket and then finding nowhere to put the phone itself? If so, then this hack is perfect for you. Simply grab your bottle and cut apart the top area of the bottle like this. Once that's removed, simply draw a ring like this around the opposite end of the bottle and then draw an elongated curved rectangle up to the other end as shown here. Draw a window that is wide enough for the plug to fit through. Now you're ready to get cutting, so grab a utility knife and cut out this area. You'll be left with something that looks like this. If you place the plug through the window and into the wall, you can allow the bottle to hang underneath the plug while it charges. Place your phone inside the bottle as it charges. Simple. This one will come in super handy if you need a portable tap without the hassle of installing piping. Preferably, you'll want to grab one of those large water bottles. Then simply make a hole at the bottom of the container like this. It's easiest to use a soldering iron to achieve a perfect hole, but you can also make the hole with a knife, a drill, or a thick sort of needle. Just make sure the edges of the hole are neat and flush. Then all you need to do is cover the hole with your finger and fill up the bottle from the tap. If you can't fit the bottle in the sink to fill it up, you can always grab another bottle and use it as a sink drip like this. Keeping your finger in place the whole time. Once the bottle is full, simply screw the cap back on and now you can go ahead and find a place for your makeshift tap. Once you've placed it down, simply let go of the bottle hole and as if by magic, the water won't drip. To turn on the tap, simply unscrew the cap and water will flow out of the hole at the bottom, allowing you to wash your hands or whatever else you want to clean. Once you're finished, simply screw the cap back on. In case you're wondering, this isn't some voodoo magic, it's just air pressure. The water can only drip when air can escape from the top of the bottle. This neat trick is for all those looking for a neat way to store your stuff. Grab two bottles and then cut out the end of the bottle using a knife like this. Add hot glue to the ends of the caps and simply glue them together. You can use this as a neat little container for valuable items, opening and closing it with the cap. The great thing is, the tight seals of the cap should be fully waterproof and float, safeguarding your valuables like memory cards. If you're looking for a larger container though, you could try cutting the two bottles further up from the end. Apply hot glue to the rim of the section you just cut out and then stick a zipper to the glue. Do this to both ends and remove the metal strip from one of them so there's only one that has the zip on it. These zippers are super cheap and you can pick them up online or from a DIY store for a few pounds or dollars. So it's really inexpensive to do this. Once you've got the ends looking like this, simply attach the ends together and zip them up. Afterwards, you'll probably have some remaining material. So just cut this off with a pair of scissors. And there you have it, a neat transparent storage container. If you only have one bottle, then you can try this. Simply cut it at any point and add the zip at the cutout section. This one works really well as a straw holder. Remember that the great thing about this is you can make the container as large as you like by leaving more plastic and cutting further above the base. And you can easily mix and match by zipping together the parts that suit you best. Have you ever been out camping and forgot your cup? Well, follow my instructions and you'll be able to create one from the plastic bottles you hopefully haven't forgotten as well. All you'll have to do is draw this T sort of design onto your bottle with a permanent marker. Then just grab a knife and cut out these lines. Scissors might help, so use them if you've got them handy. Once you're finished, you should be able to remove a piece like this. I know, it doesn't look anything like a cup. 
but bear with me, this is where the magic happens. Simply grab the top ring and fold it downwards, inserting it into the base of the cup and pushing it firmly to keep it in place. There you go. Something to drink from an item you would have otherwise thrown away. If you've also been clumsy enough to have forgotten the world's most useful utensil, the spoon, then it's fine because you can make that from plastic bottles too. This is all possible due to the bowed end of this plastic bottle. All you'll have to do is draw a spoon design on the bottle with a permanent marker and cut it out with a utility knife like this. Now you can already use this, but it tends to be a bit sharp and raw in its design. I suggest grabbing a lighter and heating the ends to curve and smooth the sharp edges down, like shown here. You can then easily bend and mould the spoon into your desired shape. Just be careful to not actually burn the plastic. Voila, there it is. A practical spoon, perfect for pouring granules into drinks. Do be aware though, it may easily deform if you actually leave it in hot liquid. Spoons are cool, but what if you need an extra large one for scooping stuff like compost? Again, you don't actually need to go out and buy one. That's expensive and pointless when you can make one out of something you already have, because bottles can also solve this problem. All you need for this one is one of those juice bottles or milk bottles that have a handle. If you don't care about how it looks, just cut off the end at a slant like this. In a matter of minutes, you have yourself a functional, ergonomic scoop. If you're looking for something that looks a bit more like a traditional spoon, then grab a bottle and draw lines on it like shown here. Cut along these lines with a utility knife and scissors where necessary, whatever's easiest. After all that, you should be left with something like this. Again, you could use a lighter to curve and mould the end of the handle so that it's more comfortable, but with the scoop part, the rough, sharp edges work well to scoop up things, from garbage to flour or compost. Do you ever find yourself ripping holes in packets without the means of sealing the bag afterwards? Bottles to the rescue, they can help here too. All you have to do is cut out the cap part with a knife or pair of scissors. Then unscrew the cap from the remainder of the bottle. If the packet is made from thick material, you'll have to pinch together the top and twist it like this. Now you can put the bottle part through the packet and untwist the packet, revealing it inside out like this. Holding it firmly over the bottle, now simply grab the cap and screw it back over the bag. You've now fastened the bag like a Ziploc bag, so you don't have to worry that it's going to spill everywhere. It's nice and sealed. Also, the added bonus of doing this is that you can keep your food products airtight, depriving as much oxygen in the container as possible to slow down the growth of bacteria. Water bottles can also be great phone and camera stands. You can simply create one by drawing lines on a bottle cap like this and cutting out these sections. One of the gaps is vertical and the other one is slightly slanted. Once you've cut the sections out, all you'll have to do is stick one of the bottle caps to the other. Now simply fill the bottle up with water to give it some weight and screw the cap onto the bottle. Just slide your phone into the vertical straight grooves you cut out on the cap and it will stay put. This stand would be a great substitute to any other that you may buy for filming or picture taking purposes. Alternatively, if the stand is too high and heavy, you can also cut the bottle in half at around this point and it will still be able to stand upright. If you now slide your phone into the slanted slot, you have a really neat phone holder, perfect for watching these videos. If you're looking for a holder that's attached more firmly, then follow these instructions. Drill or melt a hole into the cap of another bottle and then insert a screw through that hole. Now you can screw this into a phone holder or directly into a digital camera. Obviously, you'll need to make sure the screw you use is compatible with your device or holder. Now you can screw the cap back onto the bottle filled with water and there you have a firmly mounted camera. The slingshot is a great invention you can have lots of fun with, unless you're my sister. Bear in mind with this one, the type of bottle is important as large caps will allow you to fire larger projectiles than smaller bottles with small caps. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your desired slingshot frame. Once you've settled for one, simply cut out the cap from the bottle around one and a half inches or about three to four centimeters from the top. You might also have to remove the plastic ring around the cap with a utility knife if your bottle has one in place. Once it's cut out and ready, just give it a good clean. Then grab a balloon and trim the end off so that it no longer has a long neck. The thicker and bigger the balloon, the more powerful your slingshot will be. 
for more power, you can double up the balloons to give it more strength and durability. If you decide to do this, the easiest way to put one balloon inside the other is to roll it up and place it inside the other like this. Also, you can try larger balloons. They will give you a lot more power. Now all you have to do is wrap the balloon around the end part of the bottle where the thread is. Make sure it's on tightly and evenly. Now, for an even tighter fit, cut a hole at the top of the cap and screw it back on the bottle like this. You can also grab some tape, preferably electrical tape or elastic bands, and tightly wrap it over the balloon and bottle. And there it is, you have a working slingshot. You should be able to shoot anything that can fit inside or doesn't have sharp edges, so go ahead and add whatever you like as a projectile, from crumpled pieces of paper to stones, BBs, and wooden skewers. If the balloons break while shooting, they can be easily replaced the same way they were put on. They can be pretty powerful, so try your aim out on some cans or pieces of cardboard. You may also find that it can be a little inaccurate, so to hold projectiles like arrows straight, I suggest getting some toothbrushes, cutting off the ends, and gluing them on the top like this. You can even add arrow wings using duct tape to make them fly straighter, increasing the accuracy of this neat slingshot. So there they are, the top 10 super useful plastic bottle hacks you should try. Let us know down in the comments if you know any more, or if you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like this video, and since we'll be making more videos like this in the future, make sure to click the subscribe button down below to be notified when they'll be released. Thanks for watching.